Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Today we're going to look at the brand new HST releases from Hornby in the First Great Western Fag Packet livery. Uh, we're going to have an in-depth review on these models, see what Hornby have done right and what they've done wrong. Uh, quite a few livery mistakes on these and we'll uh, go through them in just a little bit. We will then have them running around the track mat layout with the Mark III coaches. And then uh, we'll summarise and um, I'll give you my overall thoughts on them. So first of all, we're going to take a look at the power cars um, and see what Hornby have done to improve them. So we're going to take a look at the uh, updates when we've done on the tooling uh, mainly on the chassis um, I can't really notice any tooling uh, improvements on the bodies on these um, so the coupling has improved no longer the big step coupling we've got these with the return springs in the coupling hook don't get tangled up there we are. I think these are called kinematic couplings. So we've got uh, a bit more detail underneath there. Um, there's a few more detailed differences in here compared to the old ones. The moulding a bit crisper, a bit better. We also have updated the lighting. We'll go through that in a bit. So uh, you'll have daytime and nighttime lighting. Uh, cab lighting is still present. And on some models, you will get working fans. Now, I wasn't aware of this until I pulled the model apart, uh, but there's no working fans in this model, in this delivery. And I think the main reason for that is the fans are not visible. This is... Um, an old style cooler group and the fans are in there or would be in there but they're very difficult to see so I don't believe Hornby are bothered to fit working fans into this model. I do have the GWR livery one. Now these do have working fans but we'll go through them in a different video. Um, so that's it really. We've got a new source chassis uh, with the updated coupling, um, a new lighting and a fan, but, but, but we haven't got the fan in this one, so we can bin that off. Um, what came with the model, we've got some etch plates and the dummy Buckeye couplings, which sit in that little hole under there. Um, there's a booklet. Tells you how to take the model apart. 21 pin. We'll go through that. Maybe I'll take a body off so we can go inside and have a look. Uh, it comes with a speaker. Ready fitted. Roof fan control. But like I said, we haven't got that in this model. So why it's included in the instructions, I'm not sure. Bit disappointed really but uh there's that we're gonna go through some more disappointments now with the other liveries now these are the second pair of uh this livery power car i've had first one's got delivered to my local shop um about a month ago maybe three weeks ago and um i'll get the pictures up in a minute but they had scratches all along here. I'll post the pictures up now. And then the other power car had a big gap between the gold line there and that white line there. It had a big green line along it. And um, you'll see a picture of that now as well. So I took them back to the shop. He was a bit 
annoyed but uh, I wasn't going to accept them especially with the scratches on so uh, he get, got hold of Hornby Hornby told him they, they had no more available for him um, so we had a bit of an argument bit of uh, some angry emails sent to and from and in the end they agreed to replace them um, they still say they've got stock online so why they argued saying they didn't have any stock I don't know and these turned up um, yesterday, which was the 22nd of December. Um, <clears throat> so, what's wrong with these ones? Initially, I thought, yeah, they look pretty good. Got them out of the box, there was no scratches on them. The, uh, the lining looked good. But what we'll do is we'll take that one and we'll put it next to is it that one or is it the other way around? I think it's this one. One of them has got the white lining is thicker. Doesn't really pick up on the camera though. Put it next to a coach in a minute and you'll see what I mean. But uh these power cars, they um they're tamper printed, whereas the coaches have got transfers on. And when they've printed them, it looks like the rear half or rear quarter, as you can see there, there's a step there, look, between the gold and the white. Looks like if the tooling has moved as it's been printed, and it gives the effect of a much whiter um stripes than the um than the coaches have got because the front half of the model looks pretty good see the fading away there where's the back half doesn't really fade very well but on this side it looks pretty good still so if i turn this one over you'll see the step there again What I'll do is I'll get a coach and then you'll see what I mean. So hopefully you can see what I mean here. That white stripe here, there, is a lot whiter, a lot bolder than the coaches. Also the gold stripe seems to be more reflective than the coach stripe. This is because this is a transfer and this has been tamper printed. And I believe when this has been printed, tooling has moved or by mistake, they've gone over it too many times and it's it's just come out too white. It doesn't look right. If I turn the, it round, turn that one round, it'll be easier. And then I'll put the coach again there. It doesn't look too bad. It's still bolder than the coach. So that doesn't really match the coach and stock. So whether they've done in two different factories or two different manu well not manufacturers, they're both Hornby, but departments are, are it's a bit daft really, it doesn't look right. Very disappointing really. Another thing, as we're on this side of the model, you'll notice They've doubled up on the warnings. That is incorrect. There should be one there and there, looking at photographs of these locomotives in real life. That one there shouldn't be there. And the same with that one there. And it's the same on the other side. There's only one on the other side. But I believe they're in the wrong place. These should be over here, and this white stripe has been extended by too much. It should finish back here, and that warning flash should be over here. So that's another couple of mistakes when we've done. Now we move on to the front. That black surround should come down in a curve into a point. I don't know how I can show you this. 
try my best. So in real life, if you pull up pictures of these in real life, that there comes down into a point in the middle and then comes back up there. So that's another mistake they've made. Which is quite disappointing. Um, going back to what came in the box, just these. The coaches came with these couplings, if you remember, if you've seen the video on the coaches, the magnetic buckeye couplings. Now, none of these came with the power cars. Just get those couplings with the power cars. So if you want to couple up, close couple, you've got to, well, I don't know what you do. You'd have to ask Hornby for extra couplings. As it is, there was a spare set in there. Um, but that's only, you can only couple up one power car. The other power car, I've had to use uh, hunt couplings on. Which we'll, um, we'll look at when the video, in the video of it running around, you'll, you'll see it. So, yeah. All in all, very disappointing. Well, now I've put the uh, new coach in between the power cars, you can see the difference in the tampo printing and the decal, and again with the tampo printing. Now the coach, it looks quite good actually, considering, well, there's a, I can't really pick it out of the camera, there's a gold stripe and then there's a thick white stripe before it starts to fade. Now, that's what it should look like. On the power cars, that's not been replicated, not properly. You've got your gold stripe, and then it just fades. The white stripes fade. Now, I don't know why. I don't know who signed off on this. I don't understand. I really don't. I really wanted to like these. It's in the favourite livery. And um, all me have spoiled it, really. I don't know what to do with them. I'm not going to send them back, but because uh, um, well, I'll run them now anyway. So I'll um keep them for the video, and then I'll do another comparison video because I've got a uh, I've got loads of HSTs. I've got a massive collection for them. So um, and then I'll probably maybe pass it on after that. But uh, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Very disappointing. Considering the price of these, what are they? Well, I'm not telling you how much I paid for them, but um, they're what three sixty RRP. Mm. It's just disappointing. I mean, you got Simon Kohler going on TV telling everyone how Hornby are great and how they get everything spot on. It's a load of nonsense. I did think these were going to be poor when they were first announced, and I did tell uh, the local shop that I, I wasn't that interested. I was going to keep me lean on ones. But uh, when the coaches came out, I thought, you know what? They don't look too bad. And then the power cars turned up, um, and they just don't match the coaches. It's, it's like they're two different manufacturers. It's crazy. And then I'm thinking that maybe they should have picked out these a bit better. I mean, the gauge. They could have painted the gauge. Could have done something there. Painting out the bogeys. I mean, they've done the coaches. They've painted the coach springs. Done some pipes over here. They picked out the letters on the coach. On the panels. But there's nothing here. Hmm. Right, I'm going to take the model apart. And then I'll uh, show you the inside, show you what's different about them. Um, it's got 21 pin plate in at the minute. Um, and you're going to need a high function output decoder. So you'll need a six function, maybe eight function decoder, especially on the, uh, the other ones with the working fans to get the, uh, the lights and the fans working. So we're going to do that next. So here's the body off. As you can see, we've definitely got the 21-pin decoder now. 
Um, this little blue box here is for adjusting the fan speed, but we don't have to worry about this one. Um, the lighting is all controlled by plug now, rather than the rubbish little pin spring pins we used to have. Uh, another good thing is twin triple cube speakers are already fitted. Um, I have asked Hornby what decoder they recommend, uh, and they told me to wait until the announcements for 2023. So um, probably going to bring out something special, whether it's going to be sound decoder or just one of their fancy multi-function decoders for these models. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But for now, I've just got a Gauge Master decoder. The new one I could get hold of. Um, don't know why I can't get hold of anything else at the minute. But that's uh, an eight function Gauge Master decoder. So I'm going to fit that in. And then we're going to do some running. So I've got the track. Um, we'll go through the functions on the decoder quickly. Um, obviously you've got your lights on and off. Uh, tail lights. Uh, function one of my decoder is in a cab light. And then function two is day and night time uh, headlight running. And then function three would have been a fan. There's no fan fit to this one, as I keep going on about. So, so that's that. We're going to get them running now. Um, probably going to swap the couplings over so to match the coaches. Now, sadly, with these decoders, I'm struggling to get a slow speed running. Uh, I believe that's solely down to the decoder I've picked. Um, they do run nicely on analog. I have run them in on an analog controller. So I do know they run nicely. But unfortunately, with the decoder I've got in them, they're a bit stop start uh, when it comes to uh, slow speed running. Right, so what I'm going to do now, obviously you can see the big gap there. Uh, I'm going to fit uh, a set of hunt couplings to one and the spare set of magnet couplings from Hornby to the one. I'm going to attach them to the rake of the coaches and have them running around. Just to conclude, summarise, um, I, I don't know really, I'm mixed feelings about them. I really do like the livery, um, it's just not very well applied to the power cars. Um, they do run nicely, I do like the new tooling, it's just unfortunate that Hornby have made a mistake or the wrong decision about applying the livery to the power cars differently to the coaches. As you can see there, it's just completely wrong, isn't it? Excuse the gap between the coach, but as you can see there, it just doesn't make sense. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, maybe you were thinking about getting a pair and were unsure. Um, maybe this has made your mind up now or whether you're um, willing to accept faults um so yeah once again thank you for watching please like and subscribe I'm very close to a thousand subscribers now um and again i'll catch you all next time cheers bye